Petco Park in beautiful downtown San Diego. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming at you right after the break. 2022 San Diego Padres. Okay, all set to go. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Here's a 1-1. Down the line, it's a base hit. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. And it's a double to start the game. Here's Starling Marte. Man at second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And a 1-1. One, one. one out and a runner at second. Next offering misses, and now three and one. Three balls, one strike. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Here's Pete Alonso. One one now. Foul ball. Nimmo over at second. Lindor at first. One gone. And now it's even up. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next Hold offering down. is down low. And the pitch. In the air, foul off first. Hosmer right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Here's Mark Canna. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Two outs. Got him. And that is that. We go to the bottom of the first, stepping in for San Diego, Trent Grisham. Well, who would have thought Jacob deGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth-round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. And now it's filled up. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One up, one down. Manny Machado Third up to the plate. The third baseman, Manny Machado. Yeah, Boog, just incredible. You look at that benchmark of 200 innings, comfortably over that in 2018 with 217. And the sub-2 ERA, just impressive at 1.70 to lead the league. And a swing and a miss. Two out. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. That one to first. He handles it himself, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. here in San Diego top of the second and now it's going to be Eduardo Escobar he 
needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. In the air, center field. Grisham drifts towards it. And there's one away. Dom Smith stands in. The designated hitter, Dominic. Next offering is in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. And a ball evens the count. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. And the 2-2. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Stays alive. Second inning here. No score. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Jeff McNeil stands in. Next offering is fouled back. Righty delivers, and it's fouled away. No score here in the second. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here is James McCann. In the air, right field. Myers gets under it. Squeezes it, and there are two outs. Back to the top of the Mets order. So up next for New York, Brandon Nimmo. Smith on second. McNeil at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. That's to third. They take the force out. That's out number three. Back here at Petco Park. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's a big power threat. Luke Voigt. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. Next pitch is in the dirt. Now two and two. And delivers outside. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now it's Eric Hosmer. One down, base is empty. Popped up. Escobar should have this one. And there's two down. Well, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Next offering is way upstairs. And 
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Welcome back. Out of the third inning, Starling Marte up to hit. Here's a 1 1. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. The next offering misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit, and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. <laughs> Top of the third, no score. Just a slow ground ball this time. Good feed. That's one. On to Hosmer. Two. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. Line drive. The throw to first. And that takes care of Alonzo. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Austin Nola. And the right-hander deals. And that one missing low. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Taps softly to the right side. To second, that's one. Over to first, safe. And the batter will be the shortstop, Hassan Kim. Not shortstop. The 1-1. That one drifts inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Got him. Two gone now. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Profar, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch misses outside. Ball two. Just missed. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. Here's Manny Machado now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Strike three, got him swinging. And the Padres waste a chance. We go to the top of the fourth. Now, here is Mark Canna. The 
one one and there's a ball two and one the count now he hasn't seen a fastball yet but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a three one count hit pretty well in the air out to center brings it in with a nice running grab and there's one down Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. Flight out to center in his first at bat. Two, two. Bounce to the right. Cronenworth handles the chance. Whips it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Next one misses three and one now. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. He steps on the bag and that'll do it. Bottom of the fourth. So digging in now for San Diego. Jake Cronenworth. And a pitch. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off to the right. The pitch. Ground ball to the right side. And that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It's not easy laying off that pitch. It's designed to fool you, but he just wasn't fooled at all. And it'll be Luke Voigt to stand in. Next offering is in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Next offering way off the plate. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The Padres yet to pick up a hit here. Cronenworth runs. Pitch misses. McCann fires. Caught stealing. Righty to the plate. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. Here's Hosmer. He's over one. The first baseman. Aaron. Hosmer. Next pitch is outside. And downstairs. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Two down, nobody on. And that's ball four. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. Swings through that one for strike two. And a one-two. Looked like it was a little bit up. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Set for the start of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. At the belt and fires. Hey. Out to short. Kim picks it up. Sends it across the first. One away here in the fifth. James McCann in now. James McCann. 
One one to McCann. Pitches in the dirt. Two and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. McCann fouls one off. And he deals. And that one off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. So now three and two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. So the batting order turns over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. One for two. Ground ball right side could be two. Hosmer toss the second. Back to first. Double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. And welcome back at the play, Austin Nola. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Next offering is foul back. Next pitch has popped up. Escobar makes the catch. And there's one down. Jerickson Profar. The next up for the Padres. Hit on the ground to the right side. And foul ball. The next pitch misses, and it's three and two. Kicks and deals. In the air, right side. McNeil settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two away. So digging in, ha -sung Kim. That misses, and that's ball three. Late with the swing there. Boom. That's cheddar, baby. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Three, two. The other way. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. Here in San Diego, top of the sixth inning. And stepping in for New York, Starling Marte. And the pitch. Ground ball, left side. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Here's Francisco Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. Bounced out to short. Over to Hosmer. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Two outs, base is empty. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Here's a 1-1. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kicks and fires. Ball. Stays alive. Foul ball left side. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. 2-2. Two -two. 
And a foul ball, he stays alive. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Late swing, fouled off. Two two now, and now the count filled up three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. Here comes a 3-2. Swing and a ball popped up. Hosmer towards the line, looking up, makes a one-handed catch. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. And here is Trent Grisham. Good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. The line to kick the pitch. Stays alive. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Next offering is fouled back. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. That one the other way. In there. Base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Hannah whips it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Three and two now. Next offering popped in the air, right field. He's got it, and there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And a pitch. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. DeGrom checks the runner. Tag, and he's picked off. Tapped out in front of the plate. Toss to Alonzo. Padres go down one, two, three. New inning getting started at stepping in for New York, Mark Canna. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. Left-hand batter waits. On the ground. Kim with the throw to first. Escobar out of the play. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Dominic Smith. And here it comes. Profar going back on this one. Nice grab on the run. And that'll do it. Back here at Petco Park. Now it's the DH, Luke Voigt. And a 1-1. Late on that fastball. One-two now. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now it's Eric Hosmer. Left-hand hitter waits. And another ball. 3-1 is on the way. On the ground to third. Escobar with the throw to first. And that quickly, two away. Will Myers now. Two outs. That's down and in. The 2-2. Two -two. Fought off foul. Meyer stays alive. Next pitch misses. And the count's full. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Swing and a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. The new pitcher in the game, Seth Lugo. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. So two down. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Austin Nola. Next offering is in for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The one-two. And now two and two. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And we stay tied as the inning ends. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tim Hill. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. and miss struck him out first out in the top of the eighth James McCann up now for the Mets he's 0 for 1 here comes a pitch there's a swing and a drive that one back there pulls it in on the warning track Back to the top of the lineup. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. The count two and one. Fouled off. He was late. Here's a 2-2. Out to short. And a base hit. So the inning is still alive with Starling Marte coming to the dish. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Swing, and he breaks his back. Brings it in, and that is the inning. to the bottom of the eighth. Stepping in for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. Our 
Hard ground ball, base now. Now he'll turn for second. The relay, safe at second, he legs out the double. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. He got a backdoor breaking ball, really easy to give up on that pitch, but he stayed on it and shot it right back in the direction it was breaking from. Really nice job of letting it travel. Now it's going to be Hassan Kim. Next offering upstairs. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball. Two two now. And just misses with that one. Runner leads away at second. Line drive. Takes it in for the out. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Next for the Padres, Trent Grisham. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone. Here's Manny Machado, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Going to count one and two. Well, a come-and-get-me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Next pitch just misses. Two and two. And the right-hander deals. Gets under and pops it up. Alonso makes the grab, and that ends the inning. Jorge Alfaro, he's out in left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, Austin Adams. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Here's a 1-1. And there's a foul ball. One and two here. That one hit to right. Myers has a beat on it. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. The pitch. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Next pitch in the dirt. Three balls and a strike. And he deals. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that three-two count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Mark Canna up now for the Mets. Righty delivers. And that's down and away. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. And a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. Now two out. Now at the plate, Eduardo Escobar. The 
one one swing and a miss as he was out front that time the one two swing and a tapper that rolls foul Chases that one out of the zone. Third out. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Drew Smith. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. here in San Diego bottom of the ninth so digging in now for San Diego Jake Cronenworth next offering is in for a strike and a pitch and now the count is even Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Stepping in the long ball threat, Luke Voigt. Known for his late inning heroics. The 1-1. Out to short. Lindor picks it up. Now the throw to first on the run. Fine play in the hole for the out. Stepping in for San Diego, Eric Hosmer for the fourth time tonight. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Got him looking. That is the inning. And welcome back. We're in extras here. So now here's the Mets DH, Dominic Smith. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Man, it's second. Now one miss. Swing and a miss struck him out. And they get the leadoff man in the 10. And next for the Mets, Jeff McNeil. Good contact guy, good defender. And a base hit up the middle. And that hits the bag in plenty of time. The first two in a row set down to start the 10. Here's the catcher, James McCann. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position. Next one off the plate inside. Two and two. And there's a ball. Back to work. 3-2 now. Smash to the left side. Over to Hosmer. And the inning is over. On to the bottom of the 10. So digging in now for San Diego, Will Myers. And now it's 1-2. Line drive to short and caught. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin now Nola. Of That's course, it. little bro Aaron, one of the top starters in baseball. Stays alive.
Line drive, base hit. Throw comes in quickly, and the winning run at third now with only one gone. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Really protected with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. Jorge Alfaro at the plate. Here's a one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. This one in the dirt. Safe. He beats it. The pitch. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. The pitch. Good eye right there. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. A laser to left base hit. Throw is offline. This one's over. And the Padres walk it off in extra innings. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. The final one to nothing. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Joining us here tonight, and 